Hey, hey, all my legacy leaders out there. I'm out here in this ice storm that we got in Michigan trying to stay warm. I was on an errand, but I, I had a, a, a couple of thoughts that I wanted to convey with you all before the week was out. And so I wanted to get this video out to you. We're talking about leadership and vision. And one of the most important things that I wanted to talk to you about is just everybody understands and from time immemorial we've known that vision is important but what is the what is the 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 kind of connection between leadership and vision so i got a couple of quotes here that i wrote down um, from just a, a bunch of different sources that i think really gets to the heart of this and so the first quote is of course the importance of vision without vision the people perish and that comes from um the Christian Bible, the Hebrew Bible, Proverbs 29, 18. And then you also have a section where it says, write the vision, make it plain so that the herald may run with it, right? And that, it comes from Habakkuk 2 and 2. Now those are, you know, for, for centuries, for millennia, we've known how important vision is. Even in the art of war, Sun Tzu said it this way. He said, he will win whose army is animated by the same spirit throughout all of its ranks. So the army, the, the group of people that you lead, having a vision is a crucial thing. But creating a vision oftentimes leaders think that being a visionary makes you a leader and one of the things that we want to talk about is the importance to understand that leadership is not just being a visionary having a vision is necessary but not sufficient for leadership and um, Warren Bennis says it this way leadership is the capacity to translate vision into reality so Developing your ability to translate that vision into a reality is what makes leadership. You know, at Legacy Leadership, we talk a lot about leadership is facilitating the manifestation of greatness in others. You see the greatness in others, but the leadership piece is facilitating, bringing forth, turning that vision into reality. And so there's one quote that I wanted to really focus on with you all. It's from um, Rosabeth Moss Cantor. She's the director of the Harvard University Institute for Advanced Leadership. And it's a quote that I just thought was so awesome in, in kind of helping to understand why the ability to communicate vision is so important. What she says is a vision is not just a picture of what could be. Right? A lot of times we talk in dreams, we talk in ideas, we talk about what could be. She says a vision is not just a picture of what could be. It is an appeal to our better selves, a call to become something more. As a leader, you have to develop the skill of calling those that you lead to be something more and, and, and in a way that you appeal to their better selves. And that is the communication skill that is necessary to be a good leader. So it's important to have a vision. It's important to be a visionary, but it's also important to be able to communicate that vision and to appeal to the better selves of those that you lead. So hopefully that was some good information for you. Stay warm out there if you're in the Midwest because it's ice storms and all types of stuff going on. And we'll talk to you next time. And until then, remember to live every day like it was on purpose. Have a great one.